Okay, this is part five of the Southwest. Great Basin National Park. Amidst the lonely desert that unfolds between the Rockies and the Saharas, a rugged landscape rises into the beautiful blue sky of eastern Nevada. Forested mountains tower a mile above the flatlands below. Great Basin, which was cut by glaciers during the <laughs> Paleozoic Ice Age, has been a national park since 1986 and is defined by the Snake Range, which has 13 peaks that rise more than 11,000 feet high and nearly 100 valleys snaking along with soaring summits. Alpine lakes cascade into rollicking streams and rivers, and the bristle cone pine forest opens into lush meadows dotted with wildflowers. A labyrinth of limestone caver caverns winds underground. Nevada's second tallest mountain, Wheeler Peak, reaches an elevation of 13,063 feet in Great Basin. There's the picture of the mountain that it was talking about. Pyramid Lake. Named for the distinctive 400-foot rock near its eastern shore, Pyramid Link Lake <laughs> is a striking contrast to its rugged, arid surroundings in northwestern Nevada. The lake is one of the largest desert lakes in the world and is famous for its tufa rock formations. Its surface facilitates from turquoise to dark blue. Across the lake, views of the mountains streaked with gray and pink are unforgettable. Located on the Paiute Indian Reservation, Pyramid Lakes, Warm at shallow waters and are a magnet for anglers and swimmers. The world record cutthroat trout is a 41-pound whopper was pulled from these electric blue waters in 1925. There's a, there, a picture of the lake and two little cute kayakers down there. Las Vegas Strip. The Las Vegas Strip originated in 1938, seven years after gambling was legalized in Nevada. Bucking the trend of the downtown casino, an entrepreneur opened a gambling hall four miles south of Vegas, Las Vegas city center on U.S. Highway 91. In 1941, the Hotel El Ranchero Vegas Resort opened at the corner of San Francisco Avenue and U.S. 91. The hotel offered its guests an unprecedented slate of facilities and activities, including restaurants, live entertainment, shops, a travel agency, horseback riding, and of course, a swimming pool. Gambling nonetheless remained the top draw. Today, Hotel El Ranchino's Vegas legacy is unmistakable. The Strip, Las Vegas Boulevard, dwarfs the downtown area when the cityscape first comes into view. The ornate palaces of South Las Vegas Boulevard and their endless ribbons of neon make it one of the few stretches of road that's more scenic at night. Amazingly, 16 of the 20 largest hotels in the world are right there on one four-mile slice of real estate in the middle of the Nevada desert. A visitor could walk from one end of the Strip to the other in a couple of hours and see everything from replicas of the Eiffel Tower and the New York skyline to dazzling water fountains that dance to music. Big-name performers take to the stages here nightly, entertaining the vacationing mass masses with comedy, magic, music, and dance. Nothing is permanent here. The Strip is one of the most dynamic environments on the planet. As a resort try to capture more market share and more tourist dollars, they constantly expand their facilities and activities, rebuilding and reshaping to keep up with the times. This neon sign at the south end of the Strip greets travelers who arrive via Las Vegas Boulevard. And it's, of course, the famous Las Vegas sign. Glamorous resort casinos on the Vegas Strip bring the city to life each night with flashing lights and extravagant decor. There's a picture of that. The Strip from a top view. Hoover Dam. In the Black Canyon of the Colorado River, just 30 miles southeast of the fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, sits the engineering marvel known as Hoover Dam. The dam was constructed between 1931 and 1935 and consists of 3.25 million cubic yards of concrete, enough to pave a road from New York to San Francisco. The dam widens the Colorado into the vast waters of Lake Mead, a year-round recreation destination that attracts millions of visitors each year for swimming, boating, water skiing, and fishing. 
About 20,000 laborers built the Hoover Dam, which was the largest dam in the world when it was completed. Although it's no longer the world's biggest, Hoover Dam stands to many as a symbol of the United States' progress during the adversity of the Great Depression. It is a National Historic Landmark and has been selected by the American Society of Civil Engineers as one of America's seven modern civil engineering wonders. Quick facts about the dam, about the Hoover Dam. Height, 726.4 feet. Weight, 6.6 .6 million tons. Can store up to 9.2 trillion gallons of the Colorado River in its reservoir, Lake Mead. That's nearly two years of the average flow of the river. Has a powerful generating capacity of 2.8 million kilowatts. Is part of a system that provides water to more than 25 million people in the southwest United States. And there's a picture of the dam.